So one half means the square root. What times what is the inside? And the answer is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.09. Exponent one-third means the cube root. What is the cube root of negative 8? The answer is negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is the inside. When you see a radical converted to a fraction, x to the one-half means square root, and when we see cube root, that means one-third. We multiply the exponents, And now we can see that k is 1, 6. The square root of 9 is simply 3. We only take the positive answer as a solution. So this is false. Given x squared equals 9, we square root both sides. We have plus minus the square root of 9, which is 3. So this is a correct statement, true. Let's simplify this expression by writing 125 as 5 cubed. The lowest base is 5. And by doing so, we can see that we can multiply these exponents. We have 5 to the 3 times negative 2 thirds. The 3's cancel, so we have 5 to the negative 2, which is 1 over 5 squared, which is 1 over 25. To convert this entire radical to a mixed radical, Let's do the prime factorization. It takes two friends to break out of this jail. When these two friends try to break out, only one survives. So therefore, we have 2 root 2. Let's convert this to a mixed radical. So focusing on the prime factorization, we have 3 times 9 times 9 is 243. So we have lots of threes here. So the cube root of one, two, three, four, five threes. Every three friends work together to break out of this level three jail. Only one survives. So we have three cube root of three times three, which is nine. We want to go backwards, back into jail. So the story used to be, there were two threes, they worked together to break out and only one survived. So therefore two times nine is 18. Root 18 is the equivalent entire radical. We're going back into this level five jail. So there are gonna be a lot of twos. One, two, three, four, five friends work together to break out, forming only one survivor. So we have the fifth root of 32 times 3, which is 96. We have the same base, so let's add the exponents. What's 2 plus 1 half? It's the same thing as 4 over 2 plus 1 half which is 5 over 2. So we have x to the 5 over 2, which is the same thing as the square root of x to the 5. So there's going to be 5 x's. Every pair allows one person to escape. So the answer is x times x, which is x squared root x. This is a mixed radical. We have the same base, so we're gonna subtract exponents. There's a hidden one here. What's one minus two thirds? It's the same thing as saying three over three minus two thirds, which is one third. So we have x to the one third. Let's rewrite these radicals as fractions. We have x to the two thirds times x to the five over four. We add the exponents, so we have x to the 2 thirds plus 5 over 4, which is 23 over 12. 1 to the anything is 1. Showing a few more steps, 
we have 1 over 1 to the 2.5 because this is a negative exponent becomes positive when you move it to the, to the denominator and so we have 1 over 5 over 2 which is the same thing as 1 over the square root of 1 to the 5 which equals 1 over the square root of 1 which is 1 over 1 which equals 1